Hey YouTube, Des here with another beginner tutorial for FIFA 15 and today we're going over shooting and it's a pretty simple tutorial obviously if you're playing FIFA you know how to shoot the ball but if you're just starting out, just a beginner uh, I just want to show you some of the types of other shots that you can do that you might not know about like a finesse shot or a flare shot maybe you want a really driven shot or a chip shot I just want to show you how you can do those there so we'll dive into it um, our shooting shootings have a circle obviously Realistically, you can get a goal with these other buttons if you want to like through ball a shot or lob or pass a shot You can get a goal with those, but our shooting is going to be done with circle And we also have R1, L1, and L2 R1 with circle is a finesse shot L1 with circle is a chip shot And L2 with circle is a flare shot And so you want to keep those buttons in mind when you're playing and depending on where you are on the field if you want to use those buttons or not so if you're out here around 35 40 yards just go with a straight circle shot it'll have a lot more power on it and if the keepers off his line you might actually beat him in and get a goal if you're up closer here around the top of the box or in the box go with R1 in circle that's a finesse shot and goalkeepers in FIFA 15 are really good and finesse shot is your best chance to get around them when you're up close like this. If you just do a straight shot, it seems like they have a lot more better chance at, or a lot better chance at stopping your shot than just a straight finesse. And so that's one of the ways there. And then there's also a chip shot, which is L1 and circle. And so say the keeper's out of the box, maybe he's trying to beat you on a through ball, but you beat him to the ball. Go with L1 in circle for a nice little chip shot to get it over him and get an easy goal. And then you can also do uh, fake shots. And fake shots is circle plus X. And people, when they first start out learning this, they tap it. They go circle X, circle X. And what happens is they usually screw it up somewhere and they hit circle X and end up shooting with X, which is the pass, which isn't going to be a good shot. And so if you never want to screw it up, Instead of tapping circle X, just drag your fingers across. You'll never miss a fake shot or never screw up a fake shot if you're just dragging your fingers across like that. You can do it all day long. You'll never screw it up. Same with fake pass. Just drag it the other way, which is square and X. You can do it all day long. You'll oh, I actually screwed it up. You can do it all day long and you'll never screw it up the majority of the time. So just fake shots all day long. And so, yeah, there you go. Um, I want to back out of here real quick. We'll go into uh, skill games. And I want to show you a little bit more about driven and flared shots. So if you're under free kicks here, or let's see. Where are we? We're on advanced shooting. We want free kicks. There they are. Free kicks. So if you're under free kicks here, um, if you're just starting out, definitely do the bronze and silver level of free kicks. They really help you get an idea of shooting with a free kick. And so if you want to have a curved ball on a uh, free kick, just hit circle. No other buttons, just circle. You don't need a lot of power on it or it's going to go over the bar like that. You don't need a lot of power. Less than two bars is all you need to get a good good uh, curved free kick. There you go, like that. If you want to drive a shot, like really drive it, hit L1 in circle. So L1 in circle, you can put a lot of power on these and you'll be okay. That was three bars and it hit the hit the crossbar. So let's put a little bit less than three bars and it drives right in there. Now I told you L1 in circle is a chip shot before. That's only when you're out playing in the field. If you're in a free kick situation like this, L1 in circle is a driven shot, which can be really good sometimes. And then, so keep that in mind and practice around with it. Know where the curve goes for your for your um, people who are taking the free kicks. So you can get that sweet spot in that corner that the keeper has no real chance at really grabbing, you know? And hopefully you can beat around the wall and get some really good goals. And so we'll back out of here one more time. I just wanna show you the flare shots. Uh, let's see here, that's gonna be under advanced shooting. And it is the silver one. And so the flare shots are what you always see people uploading on YouTube. And it's L2 plus circle gives you the cool little falls. So L2 and circle, that keeper's gonna beat me to that one. Give me another ball. So L2, circle, that was too much power. 
Let's try a little bit less power, see if we can get a bicycle kick out of it. There you go, that was a good goal. So that's the cool little flare shots you can do. If you're feeling fancy, maybe you're up like 4-0, go for some flare shots. Or maybe there's no one on the guy at all. Go for some flare shots, they look cool. And then yeah, so just keep those things in mind when you're shooting the ball. You don't always have to just stake with circle. Go with a finesse shot if you're at top of the box or in the box. You have a better chance of getting a goal out of it. Um, if you want to be fancy, go with a flare shot, L2 and circle. And then keep those fake shots in mind too. Um, just sliding your fingers across. Don't tap. Just slide them across and you'll have a lot better chance of not screwing up your uh, fake shots. And then on the penalty kicks, free kicks, uh, just practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice the driven shots. Practice the curve shots. Because there are going to be games where it comes down to a free kick. And if you practice, you're going to be thankful that you got a goal by being a goalie in the top corner of the box, or top corner of the goal, that he had no chance of getting. You're going to be so happy about it. And so, yeah, hopefully this tutorial helped you. Um, if you like my content so far, go ahead and subscribe. I got more tutorials coming. We're almost to the intermediate series of the tutorials. Uh, I got more Ultimate Team. I'm going to start my career mode. Uh, uploading it I have I've been playing career mode for a while now it's a lot of fun I'll start uploading that and then yeah if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hopefully you'll get some more goals going so thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you next time